The overall goal of this experimental paradigm is to assess the effectiveness with which children regulate negative emotions by measuring changes in psychophysiology while they use emotion regulation strategies. This method can help answer key questions in developmental, emotion, and clinical fields of psychology, such as how effective different emotion regulation strategies are for children to use to manage negative emotion. The main advantage of this technique is that it enables researchers to distinguish between children's emotional responding and emotion regulation processes using a non-invasive objective methodology. Though this laboratory-based method provides insight into children's development, it can easily be applied to adolescent and adult populations and modified to examine different emotional contexts or strategies. Begin by randomly assigning children to one of the six conditions before they arrive at the laboratory, keeping an equal number of boys and girls in each condition. Then, at the beginning of the visit, escort the child to the testing room and sit at a small table with him or her. To establish rapport with the child, introduce art supplies the child can use if desired. Ask two to three questions about the child's hobbies and interests to engage the child in friendly conversation. Once the child is acclimated to the environment, train him or her to self-report the intensity of his or her emotional reactions, either sadness, fear, anger, or happiness, by using a simple four-point cartoon face scale to rate each discrete emotion separately. Note that each scale depicts a neutral face, followed by three faces depicting increasingly...